Hi there, my name is Matt Cole. And I'm Brian Garrity. And we are the producers of the Sexperts podcast, and we have a, a very special returning champion. Welcome back to the show, Mark Banshee. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you guys? We Good. are doing How great. Are you? Doing well. Um, uh, surviving. Oh, surviving quarantine surviving yes and that's what we have you on the show for not because you are a talented lovely talented and funny person it's because, because you, you're a survivor <laughs> you don't get that you are the host of the survivor social distancing <clears throat> survivor parody um on youtube and facebook so congratulations for the host did you audition for the part i i didn't uh <laughs> Thank you for all the kind words. Um, I didn't audition. Mm -hmm. uh, I just have friends who thought I would be good, and we they recommended I I do it, and we we just went at it, and it, it ended up kind of working. Um, no, we're all like actually Survivor fans, like real life Survivor ah. fans, um, and we were kind of bonding over that. And one of our one of the other producers, uh, Jeff Ballou who's been on the show. Mm -hmm. um, he had an idea to do a improvised season. Yeah. And yeah. we didn't really know what it was going to turn into, um, <laughs> how long it would be and how <laughs> in depth we were making. But um, yeah, someone threw out that I'd be a funny host. And I was like, I'll give it a go if you guys want it. So That's it worked awesome. out really well. Um, yeah. So we're, we're uh, an episode, we're going to air episode three. Mm -hmm. Um, tomorrow it airs every Wednesday at nine. Mm -hmm. Um, we put a lot of work into it and, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Nicely is put. Any, is there any advantages to watching it live on Wednesday at nine or, uh, um, you get to participate in the live chats, which are, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, don't like my character. Some people think, Oh my God, I'm a jerk, which is intentional. I mean, yeah. I had picked so Jeff Poops is is built off of he's the host in the yeah. show. If you haven't if you haven't seen the show, I play a character named Jeff Poops, yeah. who's uh the host of a fictional survivor mm -hmm. where everyone is uh locked in their homes doing a social distancing yeah. thing. Um and I kind of modeled him off of the the real host of Survivor, mm -hmm. Jeff Poop or Jeff Probst. <laughs> yeah. <Jeff>. Not Poop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know his real name anymore. <laughs> I've become, I've become him. Yeah, uh, you've usurped him, right? No, uh, he, in the show, he's kind of a jerk. He's kind of uh, he's at times a jerk. He's at times very direct. Mm -hmm. He's very um, sometimes he's naive. Sometimes uh, he's manipulative. Uh, so I kind of I leaned into all those the all those um, aspects of his of his. I would, say, I would say you accomplished that without ever veering into like being concerned, being empathetic, <laughs> right? Uh, being kind, uh, right? You you never showed any of those types of traits, which I oh I, I loved it. Commend I commend you. I I always you know, and um, now that I do like some hosting and like random like entertainment gigs, I actually kind of really like get what those kind of like game show hosts go through because i like and i i didn't watch a whole lot of survivor but i am familiar with jeff probes and like i watched some of the first season because my parents were fans but like he never knew when he was recording it i, I know they put a lot of money into that show probably but he even, never knew if it was going to be a hit or not so he was probably probably drunk all the time and like not recognizing it was going to be a big hit so he's just he was just doing the whole gig like with a smirk on his face like i, I think a lot of hosts are like there like oh just fuck it like whatever and then it turned into this huge like fucking hit and then he has to like take it seriously so i think you played that very well where you're like i don't give a fuck like okay do this game of course the game is rigged blah 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 i i, th I thought you did very very well with that thank you yeah it um it's weird i've watched a, i've watched um about 10 seasons of survivor um there are 40 so i haven't watched everything but the other producers have watched way more than me um a few of them have watched everything jesus um which is a lot of TV. I mean, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but y even in the first 10 seasons, you can see a progression of Jeff Probst. Like he's, mm -hmm. he's like at the beginning, not really knowing what he's doing. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's kind of 
nicer, but then he gets mm-hmm. kind of bored with being nice and like right. starts digging in for drama. <laughs> and I, I really love that <laughs> that version of Jeff Probst. He also becomes a rich person in real life. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. <clears throat> Jesus. Uh, I'm I'm also a huge I'm also a hu- huge Survivor fan. I've hmm. watched all of it. Um, but is he still the host? I have never really watched. Oh. Any of it. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, actually, season 40 just ended. Uh, like wow. He's hosted all 40 seasons. Yes. And that's, they that's did insane. the final reveal over Zoom. Or, well, I don't know if it was Zoom, but it was video. Oh, uh, for this season? Gotcha. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, that's that's yeah, an accomplishment for, for anybody. Um, well, once Virginia gets to level three of the reopening, yeah. Cole has promised that <laughs> he's going to come over two or three nights a week and we're going to watch Survivor together. <laughs> Nice. There's a lot of content there. So. All right, I ha- I have to say, um, not my thing. Yeah, I I, I gotta say, uh, like rom coms and Harry Potter, Survivor also not my thing. I do not like reality TV. Um, but I get it. I, I get. I, I'd also am not a huge fan of wrestling, and all those things have in common with reality TV. I was my character. Uh, Brian and I were were characters on the Survivor. And my character is like the heel. So like the, the character you all kind of like love to hate and is also apparently like a lot of fun for like the producers and the people like in the know or like, oh my God, that's a great character. We understand what you're doing. But the audience is like, fuck that guy. He's an obnoxious asshole. And that's absolutely what I was doing. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so much fun. You had a, uh, a great character. I'm really <laughs> glad uh, both of you participated because the show is mostly you guys, right? It's mostly just me. Yeah. I mean, it was a real show. We didn't rig anything. Yeah. We threw you guys in a room and you, a lot of times you're like, I don't know what to do. You <laughs> right. know? And we just, those we just enjoyed couple, watching you. Those first couple of times we had not like, yeah. Oh my God. It was, what do we do? What do we talk about? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So some of it was like playing with you guys, mm-hmm. like to like watch, watch you guys react <laughs> to what we were doing. <laughs> right. And like, also living out our fantasy of like being in a real survivor season right which yeah i'm not a, a crazy big survivor buff i i do like survivor a lot but what i what i sink my teeth into with the with the the show is that i don't know you can you can watch how people manipulate each other yeah, and i don't yeah. like that in like a creepy way i like that because it it reveals like this weird social layer that yeah. is always present in real life. Yeah. But in a game, you can actually see it right. happening. And, and people are more honest about it. And right. I think it's interesting and, to see that. And you can be strategic about it. And I know you like, you know, you, we, we had like game nights and stuff. You you like playing that kind of strategic game. And that thought crossed my mind. Like I was more invested in the character stuff and like the inner, the like, you know, role play and character sort of value of the whole show and then like right before uh, we recorded i had that sudden thought too i was like oh wait a minute i'm actually playing a game i should have some fucking strategy and i didn't <laughs> i didn't have any strategy we'll see how far that took me um uh, i won't give any spoilers but um sometimes people without strategy just coast through sometimes people without strategy just like crash and burn but i, I will say you're right is like the people with a solid strategy like they played a fucking win and I, uh, you, you guys watch more Survivor. They usually win, right? The people who are like wheeling and dealing and strategic. Yeah, there's kind of like two eras of Survivor, like early and late. You mm-hmm. know, um, the early stuff, even like the first season, people are really naive. They're like, they don't want to uh, bound up with people. They don't want to create alliances or anything. They, yeah, they, they think it's shameful. Uh, and that quick that that changes over after the very first season, like people are creating alliances after, in, after the first season. And it's very powerful to, to band up with people. And yeah. now looking at like season 40, it's almost like a badge of honor. Like I mm-hmm. created a move that knocked someone out and they had no idea it was coming. Right. You guys right. need to vote for me. And everyone's like, wow, what a, what a beautiful play. We need, <laughs> we need him to win. Cause he, he had, five beautiful plays throughout the season <laughs> so it's it's really shifted a lot yeah that's crazy but, uh, it was interesting yeah well we see how many beautiful plays brian garrity makes i think people are on the edge of their seats i have one particular fan who's voting who's rooting for me to get voted off every single week <laughs> <laughs> um 
Okay, well, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Um, so we had a lot of fun, a lot of fun taping it. Um, so the, the um, banner hanging behind you was that put up for Survivor because you you have that behind you in the show, or is that always there and just happened to work great for Survivor? <laughs> it just happened to work great. Believe oh, it or wow. not, I do own a tapestry and it is hung up on that wall, right there. Um, no, I I bought it because I had a lot of empty white space in my old apartment, and right. then. Uh, it worked there and I brought it to my new apartment and there was a big empty white wall. I didn't want to put pictures on. So I threw a tapestry on. God damn. I actually, Circle it coincidentally is a background. <laughs> I didn't plan that or think about it at all. <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh, I, I know that this is taking up a, a lot of your time, the survivor social distancing, but any of the other comedy stuff, any other performances, things on the horizon for you and, um, yeah stuff um nothing nothing right now because a lot of stuff shut down but (laughs) um i am part of the sketch group sketch me like one of your french girls Mm -hmm. and we we were doing regular shows every few months um because sketch go sketch shows kind of take a lot out of us but um yeah we uh we perform regularly at the push comedy theater Mm -hmm. um and they're uh we have sketch shows that are about an hour in length uh, every few months and we'll do certain sketches here and there for other things. So uh, if you find us on Facebook, you can, you can get a, a rundown of when we're going to be performing Cool. Uh, with everything locked up and locked down. <laughs> we have, I haven't been doing a whole lot as yeah. far as comedy, but yeah. um, uh, um, survivors kind of kept us busy. Yeah, no, that's great. And, and thank you for that. I think people are, are hungry for that kind of thing. Um, and we're, we're big, we're big sketch me fans. Yeah. You guys have had some great shows. Um, Appreciate wh- that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, okay. Um, we can't wait to see survivor every week, uh, for probably about 10 episodes. So 10, 10 weeks. Um, you can check it out on YouTube and Facebook, uh, premieres Wednesday night at 9 PM survivor, social distancing survivor. Yeah. Don't look up the other survivor. Cause you won't catch me and Brian. Um, cause that's the if real thing. More than, if there's more than one season, you found the wrong survivor. <laughs> that's right yeah um and also mark is in sketch me like one of your french girls and hopefully um pretty soon once all this is done we'll be back to performing live on stage hopefully at the the push comedy theater um yeah well thank you so much for being back on the show and thank you uh jeff poops (laughs) we're on to the episode bye bye